Karen Bryan for MMA Heat. I'm here with James Tahuna, who's facing Glover to share at UFC 160. And I said the same thing to Glover when this fight got announced. I was like, yes! Oh! Because you know what I mean? I didn't want either of you guys to lose. Um, how, do you, how do you feel about this matchup? Um, I think it's a great matchup for the fans. Yeah. It's going to be fireworks, you know. He, he's a pressure fighter, mm -hmm. and I can be a pressure fighter too. I don't take a backward step. He doesn't take a backward step, and it's going to be... It's going to be fireworks. Yeah. And he's, you know, the thing about him too is he's very tough, he's very durable. Do you feel like a win over him will position you, you know, much better in, in terms of the rankings? Yeah, definitely. Um, I'm probably outside the top 10 right now. And for me to win this fight, it'd have to submit me a place in the top 10 and, and fight amongst the, the world's best. How do you feel about the fight against Ryan Jimmo? That was one of the most exciting fights. It looked like you were down and out, and uh, you're one of the most resilient people I've ever seen. How do you feel about that fight? Um, after the fight, I was, you know, relieved that I, I got the win. But um, before that fight, man, I had some problems. I thought I was going to lose that fight. I walked into that cage thinking I was going to get head kicked and knocked out, and sure enough, it happened. When you think those things, you know, they happen. And, um, yeah. I just changed my um, my um, preparation around for this camp, surrounded myself full of good people in a good environment, and uh, yeah, no, great things are going to happen now. So what do you mean, though, things were tough? Your camp was not good, or just personal problems? What, what happened? Yeah, just personal problems and um, thinking, you know, thinking too many things at once, and uh, you know, I wasn't really in a good frame of mind. Mm -hmm. I thought I had a hundred excuses to lose that fight, and it didn't happen, you know, I managed to, to win that fight. Actually, when I got that head kick, knocked me down. I was nearly out. I went on, Connor went on autopilot for the for the last two rounds and just done enough to win the fight, you know. Well, if that's autopilot, my God, that looked like more than autopilot to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, you know, I was only running on a couple of cylinders, so for me to do that and get that win, I was happy. Yeah. No, but in the past, I've seen you, you know, train with Rampage, and you know, that's what I think when I first met you, maybe it was when you were training. Yeah. But. Um, you know, I talked to Mark Hunt about this too. I know where you guys are. Is it? Do you find that you're getting enough training partners, and that you've you're find that you're getting enough top level guys to come in and push you? Because certainly, you know, you're on a career rise, and yeah. we need to make sure you're getting challenged. Yeah. Well, now I'm, I've got the opportunity to do so. Before I didn't. You know, it was just pretty much money. You know, the sponsors helping me out. But now oh, I've got some great sponsors uh, helping me out for this fight, and we've been searching for the best guys. I've got an Olympic wrestler helping me out, a second, second degree black belt helping me out. Um, I've also got Danny Green, he's a three time IBF world champ. He's the guy that knocked out first, uh, Roy Jones in the, in the first round. Um, so yeah, I've got really great guys around me and they're, they're in my hometown. We don't have to travel anywhere. I'm in, I'm in my comfort zone and it's just, just a good environment. Let's talk about your ring walk. It was uh, probably going to wear a ring, win ring walk of the year, I think, your men in black thing. Who thought of that and, and how'd you know you could pull it off? <laughs> I thought of that. We thought about it um, probably around a year ago. Yeah. Um, and the men in black, I thought about the men in black probably two weeks before the fight. Um, you know, as I said before, things have been going too well in the camp. And I thought the entrance would ease things up and try to clear my head. And it, and it did help. Um, the Men in Black, I love Men in Black movie, I love Will Smith and it was pretty cool man coming out of the glasses and the, and the suits and doing like a little uh, little dance before we walked out. Yeah, it it was great, it was great, so are we going to see a repeat of that or something different this time? Uh, who knows, maybe. <laughs> It's a surprise. All right, cool. Well, I will say this. People, people said, look, if you walk out like that, that takes nerve. You better be a good fighter, and you definitely prove that you are. <laughs> Lucky. <laughs> good, to, good to see you, James, and best of luck against Clover. Thanks a lot.